Bombs and bullets cannot defend against COVID-19 or its future variants. To fight this pandemic, we need a collective act of science and political will. We need to act now to get shots in arms as fast as possible and expand access to oxygen, tests, treatments to save lives around the world. And for the future, we need to create a new mechanism to finance global health security that builds on our existing development assistance and, global health and, the, and a global health threat council, council that is armed with the tools we need to monitor and identify emerging pandemics so that we can take immediate action. Already, the United States has put more than $15 billion toward global COVID response, the global COVID response. We've shipped more than 160 million doses of COVID-19 vaccine to other countries. This includes 130 million doses from our own supply and the first tranches of the half a billion doses of Pfizer vaccine we purchased to donate through COVAX. Planes carrying vaccines from the United States have already landed in 100 countries, bringing people all over the world a little dose of hope, as one American nurse termed it to me. A dose of hope directing the American people, and importantly, no strings attached. And tomorrow, at the U.S.-hosted Global 19 COVID-19 Summit, I'll be announcing additional commitments as we seek to advance the fight against COVID-19 and hold ourselves accountable around specific targets on three key challenges. Saving lives now, vaccinating the world, and building back better. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.